back to my local gravel pit it's for a 48 hour session and uh, the rods are out, got three rods out, one right rod stand in the margins and then I'm on 12 wraps in silt, 10 wraps on the, just at the start of the gravel and uh, I've fed quite heavily to start off with because it's about 30, sort of 20 to 30 foot over the course of where the rods have laid out apart from the right hand rod which is probably about 9 foot and I'm hoping that, that that rod will produce during the dark hours with hopefully the tinge and possibly the eels will start to patrol the margins. So that's my sort of plan of action. And I've uh, got various baits, I've got plastic fake cord on my left hand rod, got a worm kebab on the middle rod, and again worms in conjunction with a few maggots on the right hand rod. I've been feeding regular as well to keep it topped up. It's overcast, which is perfect. The wind's coming across into me, blowing down. Uh, I've just had a few bleeps. I've been fishing for about two hours, I guess. Two, two and a half hours. Took me time setting up, because like I say, I'm here for 48. And I'm also coming back down later in the week for a 72 hour session as well. So this is, I wouldn't say this is a, a prep for later in the week because uh, I've been prepping for this, for this trip as well. So I was hoping to get off, actually get on the swims a bit, bit further down where it's slightly shallower, but uh, it's Sunday after, or it's Sunday day now um, in the morning. And uh, them swims are already occupied probably from anglers that were already here Friday and possibly Saturday. Although they'll probably leave. But I'm not, I'm not going to pack up all my gear and move all the way down the other side. Because uh, this is actually the swim that I filmed my uh, gravel roach, gravel pit roach video on, on YouTube. So maybe you want to pop along and see that as well. Because that's uh, that was quite a productive, productive day. Nothing massive roach wise, but I had regular bites from this swim and uh, catching some, some nice roach. So it's a good variety of species in here and uh, fingers crossed at some point it's going to happen. tore off will be worm and this roach bream hybrid snapped him up signs of life out there let's see if there's any bigger ones it's a start
sunset time of the evening. As dust settles, the roads start topping. I could sit there for hours watching the roads top. All of a sudden they just come to life. Well yesterday was quiet, very quiet during the day and then as soon as it started to get dark then things started to happen, the rod started to see a bit of action. All three of them have been bleeping through the night on various baits and uh, managed to get amongst a few brewing which is good and uh, this, this fish is a real dark fish dark looking and uh, put up a good old scrap in the early years of the morning. not a massive bream but very welcome all the same and uh, hopefully we'll see what what this the early morning brings it may be a case of as soon as the light comes out they'll move off out the deep water and up into the, the shallow end of the pit which is where I was hoping to get but uh, there's plenty of other anglers on the lake at least I've seen a bit of action let's pop him back real dark fish As the light increased, the bites tailed off by early morning and my gut feeling was the main shoals of bream were down the other end of the gravel pit. So I decided to cut short my session and return as planned later in the week with my fishing buddy Andy joining me at some point during my session. Hopefully that's the start of many to come. Nice spray there. Just over the six pound mark. Caught on the mega liner rig. Three three red maggots as well. Nice combination. And uh, did the trick. Lovely looking fish, big fat belly on it. Let's pop him back. Well, just as the sun's going down behind the trees, left hand rod screened off with the slow sinking corn, which has caught me a lot of fish this summer, this spring. And uh, this is actually a fraction over eight pounds. And uh, I don't think I've actually weighed in a, a bream over eight pounds before, so I guess I could call this a PB. So I will chuck with that. 
it's a 10 pounders or the doubles that I'm after but wow what an impressive looking fish so I'm really pleased with that and uh, I suppose I could call this my PB brain today never know we're only early into the session we're here for another three days so who knows we could get bigger and bigger I hope so Along with his fish lucky charm, Andy had joined me after a day's work. It was not the bream that he seeked like me, but the elusive carp that grow to big proportions in this huge and very deep gravel pit. Bream would find his baits, and they did, but the search for carp on this type of water is a labour of love, of which Andy is up for the task. Been having a few liners this morning, it's got first light, and, uh, and then this just screamed off using a 10 mil smell boiling. Got to change your bait, and uh, this bream dead on the seven pound mark. Lovely fish, nice stem of fish in this, this gravel bit. Fantastic gravel pit brewing fishing. And then I saw I had one last, last night, eight pound one. And uh, hopefully, you 
plenty more to come. This is bream number 11 there, so that's fantastic, fantastic fishing. And hopefully, like I say, more to come. All right, peas in the pod. Just recast out after that last fish. And uh, screamed off after about, what, less than a minute. So they're really on the feed at the minute. And, uh, exactly seven pounds. So must be a shoulder seven pounders out there. Would it be nice if a shoulder doubles come through as well? You never know. Let's put him back. Because I think there's a few more out there right there. Just on the feed, they're really having it. And, uh, a bit of a red letter day. This is my 30th bream now of the session. And, uh, <coughs> what can I say? It's a real dark fish, this one. I mean, you can pick that up on the camera. It's a lovely fish. And uh, he absolutely fought like a, like a Trojan, went off like a train. For a brain, but I must have been. I thought I had a tension at one point. Some 12 hours after recording a fish of 8 pounds 1, which I was claiming to be a PB, I slipped the net under a much larger fish, and it was. It scaled 9 pounds 7 ounces. And in my excitement, I guess, of trying to get the camera position into place and get everything set up including the sound which was causing a couple of problems at the time I forgot to hit the record button. Luckily I did record some footage on my phone for my social media pages and although the quality is not that good at least I had something to record the £9.7 bream which is now my personal best. Not a monster fish by many people's standards, but for me, in this huge 75 acre gravel pit, it's a start and a little step nearer to catching a double figure bream from my local club lake. What an amazing session this is. This is bream number 47 there. And, um, and this is, we're into, this is Saturday this morning, which is second or third brain I think today but 47 in total this one's just under seven pounds but I'm sure that double is sitting there waiting you can see a bit of damage under under the bottom here where they've been spawning they do rough themselves up and only because it's quite gravelly here they've probably been roughing them rubbing themselves up and they do damage but so the hills it? so uh, let's pop him back <laughs> Another slab. Well, when you're having a bit of a, a busy old session on the breed, they tend to come in pairs, and I've had quite a few double takes today. And uh, I thought we'd show one on the camera. Here's a cut of bream. I guess that one, I haven't weighed them, they're getting a bit blase <laughs> catching too many, but that's probably creeping up to five. And this is around the six pound mark. And uh, so they both come at the same time. It went a little bit quiet and I thought oh, maybe they've moved off. I re refed and then next two casts. 
a double take. But um, fantastic, creeping up to nearly 60 odd for evening, so it's been an amazing session. 9-7, still the biggest, and I'm still hoping, plenty, plenty of time still, to try and catch that double figure, double figure breed, which is what I'm, what I'm craving for, but even if I don't, I've had a fantastic session on these fantastic breeds. Well, I'm waiting for my, my next screaming run from a breed. <coughs> I'm still hoping to get some tension as well. But uh, this is my mix that I've been feeding it, my ground bait feeder, and it consists mainly of, of pellet, krill pellet, blood moon pellet, and S pellet. And to bind it, I've got a bit of the, the my mirror, mirage baits, spot mix. And to dampen it all down, uh, I'm using molasses and uh, end oil as well, so that it creates a nice bit of flavour and also a nice slick as well. The, obviously, the breed seem to love it, and I've also put a small tin of hemp in the mix as well, so it's a, a nice particle mix, really, and uh, so it's keeping the fish grubbing around in the swim. And it seems to be seems to be doing well. That's all good. I've had a really good session on the old bream, gravel pit fishing at its finest. It's been absolutely fantastic. I've had a northeasterly wind been blowing. It's been blowing for about three weeks now, so uh, I had to take advantage of that. Finally got into the area that I wanted to fish, it being this, this part of the pit. And uh, we're roughly looking at about 16 to about 21 foot deep. So gradually slopes away, nice gravelly bottom, clear bottom, so you can pre present your baits fairly well and feed well as well. So that's been that's been good, very productive, and uh, s smashed me PB twice in the same session. So can't ask for more than that. You know, absolutely fantastic, and uh, looking forward to a, a return. And uh, never know why get amongst some of those really big bream that swim around in this great big, this huge gravel pit. Well I finished with over 67 bream, of which 40 were over the six pounds mark. A dozen roach bream hybrids and one goa roach. What a fantastic session that was. If you've enjoyed this episode of Fishing Tail Films, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel and I look forward to seeing you again soon with some more fishy tales.